Okay, so the last thing I'll do maybe in light right is we'll talk real quick about um, uh, how to output, you know, how to print our counts, right? So if I go to my utilities menu and I go down to counting, right, and I want to go ahead, let's say I want to count color again, but rather than just look at it on screen, I'd like to print it as a piece of paper, right? So I'm going to say worksheet items, regular count. I could say broken down by positions. I could also ask for how many sheets of color it is. And I also want to count as, as color cuts. Now, right here it says report window, which is just going to give me this window on screen. But I can also select and say I would like to send it to a printer. Right? Now, I have changed my default to sideways, so you can toggle between portrait and landscape right here. And I'm just going to say portrait and now say OK. Now, I'll bet that it comes up now with the printers that I have available. This is my office printer, right? If I come over here, I will also have an option for a Microsoft to PDF if I'm Windows. And you may have an Adobe PDF option here. I'll just select the Adobe and I'll say print. Now it's going to want to know where do I want to print that. Why don't I just put it on my desktop for right now. It says the file name, right, that I have saved. But why don't I call that Light Lab Positions and this is going to be color count. And now just say save. Right? And it's printing, it's printing, and it says, look, my Adobe PDF file is available to view. Right? And now I can see that I have printed that information, right? So that I can hand that off to somebody, either as a PDF or I can go ahead and print a paper copy of that. Right? So it's just a way that we can go ahead and use counting. Um, right? And so it's just using counting. Select what you want to count, right? And then we have to change this report window, right, to whatever printer we want, right? And when you hit OK, it'll select the printer, and then you're able to print however you want. Let's just cancel that, right? So that's the last little bit on LightWrite. It's a lovely program, and it does so much more even than what I've shown you here. But I've given you a quick overview of what it is. Its ability to connect seamlessly back and forth to Vectorworks is um, extraordinary. So that's it for now.